all good things must come to an end. My girl Cardi B has quit loving hip hop New York. Season seven will be her last season. The good people at DallasBlack.com posted an article on December 29th of 2016 titled, Cardi B announces she is officially quitting Love & Hip Hop New York. Find out why. And they also posted some video footage. There's a link to it on my blog, but I'm not going to show the videos here. I'm just going to discuss what's in the article. So DallasBlack.com wrote, Cardi B of Love & Hip Hop New York has announced that she's leaving the popular franchise. She shared the news with fans via Instagram, claiming that the split had nothing to do with creator Mona Scott Young or paychecks. According to Cardi, she's simply too busy and doesn't have time to film with the show anymore. According to Cardi, she has a lot of new projects coming her way in 2017. She's keeping a tight lip. <laughs> with, with those suction skills that she has, I mean, she still got it even with the new teeth from what I was hearing on the internets, but that's none of my business. Back to the story. According to Cardi, she has a lot of new projects coming her way in 2017. She's keeping a tight lip. That makes me think about tight mouth grip. But anyways, she's keeping a tight lip on most of what's to come. But it has already been reported that Cardi has scored a recurring role on the hit BET drama Being Mary Jane. For the record, I'm going to tune in and watch that for sure. The show has recently been promoting its move from Atlanta to New York, so it makes sense to have a New York native, Cardi, join the cast. It's also a known fact that her music career is starting to take off. She has been doing shows and appearances all over the country. Cardi isn't the first Love & Hip Hop star to quit. K. Michelle quit Love & Hip Hop Atlanta after her singing career blew up. She first transferred from the Atlanta franchise to the New York one before getting her own show, K. Michelle My Life. K. Michelle later came back to Love & Hip Hop Atlanta to make appearances and stunt on her new, <laughs> rather on her former castmates for the record. Stunt means like show off which she definitely did. She showed her ass, and that's a whole lot of ass to be showing, K-Michelle. She was like, look, I got this, I got that, you bitches ain't shit, da 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 I was like, damn. She went in. But anyways, Cardi B is without a doubt a fan favorite on the New York franchise. That's for damn sure. Shout out to my girl Cardi. You really are the fan favorite. Ah, pop your collar, sis. Anyways, the rapper and former stripper has charmed the love of hip-hop New York audience with her personality and glorified ratchet ways. Before being introduced on the show during season six in 2015, Cardi was stripper turned Instagram star. Her catchphrases and off-the-wall comments have made some of the best and most humorous moments on the show. No one can, no one can forget her constantly referencing. No one can forget her constantly referencing to the quote "shmoney" in her classic line: "If a girl have beef with me, she gonna have beef with me forever." Excuse me, I had to turn around before I said it. Love & Hip Hop New York is currently in the middle of its seventh season, which will most likely be the last time we see Cardi on the show, unless she changes her mind or decides to make an appearance. End of article. Thank you very much, DallasBlack.com. Let me tell y'all something right now. If my girl Cardi B doesn't come back to make an appearance every once in a while, we riot. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to take it. It's, 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 it's just not fair. If, if we don't see Cardi B on Love & Hip Hop New York ever again, I don't give a fuck if it's just for one episode uh, per season. Like, like I, I can't imagine Love & Hip Hop New York without her now. I mean, th th this season is whack as fuck. Season 7 is bad enough. But without Cardi B, it would honestly be unwatchable. Her and Hennessy Carolina, her beautiful sister, the two of the best parts of the show. There's a couple other people to watch out for on there. You know, Kimbella comes to mind Mariah Lynn okay you know but there's honestly not that much to watch other than some of the people this season I mean they've just gone too far with their pushing agendas and shit and it, which I'll talk about in separate videos I'll, I'll explain what I mean another time because this is about Cardi B and mourning her leaving the show because I mean I died in the inside a little bit when I found out she was leaving the show okay because I'm a Cardi B fan excuse me a big Cardi B fan about as big as her booty and that's pretty damn big. And to see her not be on the show, it's, it's, it's just not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. 
But anyways, on my opinion, what do I know? Just an asshole with a microphone. I don't know. It's Cardi's looking phenomenal in this selfie. That's all I'm going to say. She's looking freaking wonderful. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter. I mean, excuse me, big breasts on the screen. Have me distracted. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Great googly moogly. Those are some big ass titties. Damn. Try to jump rope, give yourself a black eye. That is TMT. Too much titty. You can't even do push ups with titties like that. Shit, you go to get down on the floor. And she could just put her fucking hands behind her back and just, just stand there on her tits, you know? Shit. Just put her titties on the floor and start breathing. That'll be a push up. But, anyways, what, what am I talking about? Uh, I, I shouldn't even be telling jokes about her huge knockers that have me very distracted and titnotized. I'm downright titnotized right now. I can't even turn my microphone off because them titties just have me just staring at them. I, like, I hear the titties like, you're getting sleepy. You're getting thirsty. It's like each titty is taking their time to say a little bit of the sentence. And it's just, anyways, I got to go. Where's the lotion? Uh, Meat magazine.